What is up, everybody? Phil Eevisu here for NVIDIA GeForce, and I am with somebody very important from Astro, my man Thaddeus. So important, I'm going to let him go ahead and tell you his title right now. Go ahead, <laughs> I am the head of community and influencer marketing at no, Astro Gaming. No doubt about it, man. How's your E3 been going so far? This has been a great show so far. Tell us right now. Let's just jump into it. What are you showing off here? All right, at, at Astro today, we are showing off two things. Okay. All right. Uh, I'm going to start with the first thing that it's really close to my heart. Let's this go. is a product I've been working on for the last year. It is our 10th anniversary A40. It's the A40 X Edition, is what okay. we're calling it. The A40 headset was a headset we designed 10 years ago after coming wow. out of Astro Studios, which is uh, as a lot of people know, that's a studio that actually designed the Xbox 360, uh, Alienware's first PC, leading up to the release of our first product, which was the A40. And that was designed in the pits of console esports. This is back in the day when we when we came on the scene, we were traveling with some pro teams, really trying to figure out what is it the esports needs, what's the solution they need. And this is when, like, for audio, they had they had one set of headphones on to listen to the game audio, <laughs> and then they had the, in, the, the chat communicator right. for Microsoft so they could actually talk to their team, right? So it was a really janky setup they had going on. And so we, we looked at it and we're like, hey, there's a solution here. We can really do some audio. We can really improve this. We really kind of strove to make the best headset. We did that 10 years ago. And if you look at the headset that we designed 10 years ago and the headset that we're selling today, the, the design, the silhouette, the build is exactly the same. We really seek to make something that's going to have a long life. So we really want to celebrate that. We, of course. Yeah, we really uh, wanted to go back to our roots. So we, we look at, you know, classic Halo, red versus blue. So we kind of did this red versus oh, blue yeah. motif. It's just a gorgeous headset if you look at it, right? So the second headset that we're going for is our Legend of Zelda. That's the one. Breath of the Wild <laughs> A10 headset. Yes. So that headset is awesome. It's our first fully branded headset with Nintendo. Our licensing partnership manager really pushed to have that. But he said, hey, we really got to make something with them. The Nintendo Switch is amazing. Of course, we all have them in the office. We all love playing them together. And then we decided, OK, what's the game that's iconic, right? You know, Mario Brothers is kind of a go-to for it. But Zelda is this game that every generation has a Zelda title that came out that they can remember, right? Yes. We wanted it to be a discreet headset. We wanted it to be, you know, very classy. Yeah. Uh, but we also really wanted it to pay homage to the game. So we really wanted the headset to feel like it was telling its own little mini Legend of Zelda sure. Breath of the Wild story, right? Well, that is obviously, I know this is like a Switch branded thing, but tell me about the compatibility elsewhere. So yeah, it is a Switch branded headset. It's a fully licensed headset, but it is compatible with pretty much anything. Well, thank you so much, Thaddeus. Certainly appreciate your time. I feel like I found my headset for the future. Guys, remember, for an opportunity at a 1080 Ti graphics card or even a $5,000 built custom PC. All you have to do is subscribe and comment on any of our E3 2018 coverage and we'll see you next time.